thank you very much, members of the community who are here. A major disaster befell us yesterday. It did not only before the community here in Apiti, it befell the whole of Ghana. And that is why His Excellency the President, Nanado Danko Akufuado, asked me to lead this government delegation to come and assess the situation and see what we are going to do for the people. We have come in and I have received briefings from the police, from the fire service, from the NADMO, and we have also heard from the chiefs. First of all, on behalf of the president and the government, we wish to express our deepest condolences to those who sadly lost their lives from this very, very uh, sad incident. As you know, there was an explosion of a vehicle uh, which was carrying explosives, and that was the, the, the reason why we've had this disaster. So far, we are had and at least 13 uh, people have died. Um, the numbers will change as we see more, get more and more information. We hear that you know about 100 and, uh, about 59 or so uh, injuries and 179 families that have been affected directly by this um, disaster. So government on its part is going to do everything uh, to support the families, to support those who have been injured. Thankfully, uh, the ambulance service has played a major role in the rescue. It was a rescue effort that was very well coordinated by the security services, uh, the, the police, fire, NADMO, Air Force, the ambulance service, you know, the district um, security, and everybody came together. But we were very fortunate that we could call on 11 ambulances to come in uh, to support this whole rescue effort that took place yesterday. Um, and we thank the Ghana Ambulance Service for, for that effort. We are also looking into how to make sure that all those who are injured are taken care of. Some have been sent to Takwa, some have been sent to Kumasi, some will be sent to Accra um, to get the best care that we can afford them. For the houses that have been destroyed, we are already beginning to think about how to uh, rehabilitate and rebuild for the community here. So I want to assure Nananum that His Excellency the President has given us directives. I've already spoken to the uh, State Housing Corporation and with them and in consultation with the mining companies around here, we will quickly uh, try to put in place um, uh, facilities that will help those who have been displaced. So that is that going to be one of priority for all of us. So just to assure you that government is fully engaged in all um, these processes and we are going to see to it that um, the people here are taken care of. We will learn lessons and those are going to be much later on but for now we are very very concerned about how to complete this rescue effort, how to take care of the injured, how to take care of the families uh, and people who have survived uh, and so we are going to work collaboratively to make sure all of that is happening and I thank all of you uh, for your support uh, and, and, and everything that you have done because it was a very collaborative effort. People brought in excavators from the community and everybody pitched in and, and I'm very very happy that we are all working together in unity. It's a sad day 
It's a very sad day for all of us. And may God help us all and help us to recover from this. Government will do its part, I can assure you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.